Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. Let's talk about adrenal stress and the diabetes connection. Yeah, you can have, get diabetes from your adrenal glands. So this goes beyond just your diet and sugar and it has a lot to do with stress. So the main stress hormone is cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone made by these little adrenal glands. This is what it looks like. So adrenal means add on top of renal kidney. You got two of them. They're right here, okay? So that's what the adrenal glands are. They're on top of the kidney. They're a stress gland. And one of the hormones that it makes is cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that creates a catabolic effect. Now, what does catabolic mean? Catabolic has to do with protein breakdown. The other hormone that does the opposite of this is called anabolic. So bodybuilders, for example, would get injected with a steroid called anabolic hormones to build up their muscle mass. Well, catabolic does the opposite, and it breaks down your protein, making your muscles weak, flabby, uh, and it goes after the thigh muscles and the butt muscles. So you see these people with the stick legs and a big trunk right here because it's converted to fat eventually, but first thing, this protein is converted to ammonia and carbon skeletons. Here's another word, carbon skeletons. What is that? If you ever take chemistry and look at the different uh, orientations of the elements, you'll see these little C's in the, in the, in the mid part. These are carbon atoms. And uh, uh, basically it's like a, the foundation of, of a lot of different things. Even like the tree out there is uh, made with carbon atoms. The plants are made with carbon atoms. I had a hydroponic uh, garden in my basement. And I was just amazed because you're growing these plants in these rocks with this fluid. I mean, just fluid. How can this like I, it's like 12 by 12, this huge room filled with tomato plants. Like, where does that come from? Well, the plants are extracting it from the CO2, the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, from the air and forming these plants. The same thing with the tree. You think the trees are getting their mass from the ground? Not necessarily. They get them from the air as well. So it's just it's fascinating. Uh, so in the, in the fact with, um, with cortisol... We have a catabolic effect of the protein, breaks down into ammonia and carbon skeletons, and then this is converted into glucose, thereby raising your insulin. So now we got this spike of insulin, which then messes up, you know, with, it creates insulin resistance or pre-diabetic or actual diabetes itself. So, um, so here's a situation where you're, you're eating good, but you're still under stress, and you get diabetes or you're trying to get rid of your insulin problems, right? Or trying to lose weight. It's the stress. So stress is one big, huge factor that I emphasize, you know, dealing with it probably more than most, but I see this a lot. You know, people gain weight after a stress event, a pregnancy, years of not sleeping. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a little uh, link down below so you can click down there to see what to do about the adrenals, okay? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please click the share button below and I will see you in the next video.